side by side my favorite Broadway cubby woe num num from Significant Other. Look, it's Gideon Glick. Hello. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Suze. Tell the folks at home what we're doing today. Okay, so today I have this book and it's a thousand dots that you, you, you know how you, when you were a kid you did these dot to dot things, but this is a thousand and they're all artistic masterpieces. Connect the dots. I haven't done a dot to dot since I was little. Yeah. Or these are waiting in a restaurant on a mat, like on a placemat. Oh, classy yeah. Classy restaurants I go to. <laughs> um, but what were you going to say? These are like super classy. These are like, this, this is for adults. And they're, they're all artistic masterpieces. And so we don't know what it is before we start. But as we go on, the, the image comes alive. All right. These numbers are so f***ing little. Let's start at the very beginning. All right, let's get started. We always like to begin with your 30 second life story. Oh God. 30 seconds on the clock. Okay. Uh, you're gonna tell me your entire life story. Don't leave out the awesome parts, go. Okay, um, I was born in Philadelphia in a suburb. Uh, I West was- West Philadelphia born and raised? I can't tell you, no, unfortunately not. I, uh, but I did use that rap once when I ran for treasurer of my seventh grade class. You but ten I didn't left. win. Anyway, so I didn't win and it was devastating. <laughs> so I was like, I'll do theater. And so I started doing regional theater. Five seconds. I moved to New York when I was 17 and 10 years later, here I am sitting with Susan Blackwell doing this. Dot to dots. Oof. Well played. And Thanks. you spent a lot of time on the seventh grade election. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, for super bonus points, uh, name that autobiography. What's the title? Of that autobiography. Of my autobiography? Yeah. Shit happens. And it's a double entendre. You've worked with me, you know. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Like you're about your spastic colon? What yeah, because I about? poop all the time. Do you think you poop more than the average person? Yes. <laughs> yes, I probably, before I, before I leave for the day, I've, I've already gone three times. What Before I go, and then I have two more usually during the day. Have you sought medical attention? Yeah, actually. What's going we on? Thought, in we there? thought I had something. We thought we, I had IBS when I was a kid, but I just have a, um, a very fast metabolism. Is that true? It's the truth. I'm not lying. How are your poops? Are they solid or are they uh, soft? Well, it depends on what I ate, I would say, the day before. Because um, usually it's the day before that comes out, especially in the morning. But I, that, How many poops are you taking a day? I would say it ranges from like three, three to six. Six? Yeah. And we have gotten myself checked. Like we, we did it when I was a kid. And I'm doing fine. What the what? Get it on, click. What the what? You're starring on a Broadway show. It's very exciting. I'm so proud of you. We've come a long way. Haven't we? Haven't we? Um, what's it like? Um, you feel pressure? Yeah. To make you want to shit yourself. I do, yeah. I've, I, like six times a day. Yeah. I think I'll, I'll probably be pooping more. The part's hard. It's a hard part. Because it's, it's like running a, a oh, hard story. Hard story. <laughs> it is hard. It I'm is just hard. Because you, 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 it's like running a marathon. A Broadway it's like running, marathon. It's like running a Broadway marathon. So I'm just kind of getting used to it again. But you don't have to, because you did it off Broadway. I did it. But you don't have to sing. No well, singing. This is a play. I sing a little. Like a, a little I bit sing of a what? Little. Like there's some Joni Mitchell references, some Celine Dion references, um, and I have to sing them. Full numbers, fully realized numbers. You're gonna a, have to come see gown. the show. I've seen the show. Yeah, but I'm talking to everyone out oh. there. I'm not gonna tell you. Well, you just have to come see it. Don't say it out loud, but just whisper it in my ear. Like what? what sing. You? Help me, and I sing. Completely nude, you say. What did you say? I can't hear you. Exactly. We are not making much progress <laughs> no. on this. Well, help me get from 77 to 78. There's 79 right there. Yeah, but we got to get 78 first. There's 78 right there. <laughs> so good. Gideon. Yes. We've known each other for 10, ten years. years. What the what? I know. It doesn't seem like you could know anybody for 10 years. I know. You're so young. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean. I think I, I must have met you when you were... 18? I think I was I think I was 19. You think you were 19? I think I was 19. So what So it's like a little under 10. End of March, we are celebrating the 10 year anniversary of the underground and speech and debate. That was some happy times. That was really I loved it. I loved it. 
I spent six months with you and two other boogers in a in a it was dirty, you and, and dirty basement. It was and three other Sarah Steele, nineteen twenty year olds. That's right, Sarah Steele, the amazing Sarah Steele, Jason Fuchs, the amazing Jason Fuchs, who's got the Duchess McFutchess, who's gone on. He's writing the new Wonder Woman movie. He already wrote it. It's he's crazy. also has a scene in La La Land. I just saw it. Yeah, playing. A writer. A writer. In Hollywood. Uh, directed by so Jason meta. Moore, who's gone on to direct movies like Pitch Perfect and uh, Sisters, Tina Fey and Amy Buller. Yeah. And Stephen Karam, who was a finalist who's for the he? Pulitzer. Amazing. Uh, the humans. I don't even know who he is. That was a good group of people. That, that was and is. We farted on each other a lot. In we did. You rubbed my basement. tummy. Do you remember when I had... Sure. Do you remember when I had... Um, Intestinal issues? No. Shitting all over the This was the other... This came out the other way. I had... Um, the I had a stomach virus. The herbs. And I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I, I made it through the entire show. I then, on my way home, vomited um, into a trash can. A cab driver let me out. And then I was pooping and throwing up for 24 hours. But before that, I would co- during the show, I would come to your dressing room. I came to your dressing room, and you would, you would rub my tum-tum. Clockwise. Yeah. Clockwise to promote um, A healthy flow. That's right. <laughs> Spider-Man, turn off the dark. <laughs> what the what? <laughs> oh, have you heard of it? I have. Yeah? You were in that. I was in it. You were inside that. I was so deep inside it. You know, I don't think we've ever <laughs> talked about it? that. No, we've never discussed it. Um, yeah. How was that? Uh, it was a lot. But I think I the, lucked the out the eyes of the, the world most. were upon you. I lucked out the most because they wrote they wrote us out. They wrote my characters out. Okay. Uh, the, they wrote our characters out. We were the, the geek chorus. Like meaning, a Greek chorus. Meaning they cut them out. So they, they parted ways with Julie Taymor. And then they, after 150 previews, they decided to not have us in the show anymore. So they just... Um, Were you like, hooray, or moo, I was like, or that what? happened? I was, I, show business is weird. It was more show business is weird. Yeah. Because um, the whole thing was weird. So, so I wasn't... Wild. I It almost felt par for the course. Um, but to be honest, I'd already done it 150 times, and Julie was leaving, and I really, I really wanted to do Julie Taymor's Spider-Man. Sure. And they had to pay out my contract, so I got a year's salary. So I went to Paris, I rent an apartment by myself, and then at the very end, Stephen Karam joined me, then he left. Sarah Steele joined me, and then we I went to Tuscany. I missed that call at, get that email <laughs> about meeting you in Paris. You got any special skills at the bottom of your resume? Um, any things you can do? I mean, I can do this. Is that special? So that you can cross your eyes? Yeah. It's not that special, is it? I, I, um, you're a special person. I can make this noise. But I don't know what it means. How would you even write that at the bottom of your resume? Do people still do that? Sure. Special skills? Yeah. I can speak a little Hebrew. Oh. That would that prob that probably is on my resume. I don't think I have special skills on my resume. You can speak Hebrew and you can make that weird, like, mutant pig sound. And I can do this. But you don't think that that's special. So, not really. That's just human. Picture day. Do you have any pictures in your phone that are just adorable or, um, like you when you're little or? I do. Oh, you do? Actually, you know how Facebook does those, like, yeah, look memory back, things? Yeah, like, remember those? Yeah. So, I found one. It came out. Timely. Oh, <gasps> that's sweet. you. Yeah. Did doesn't you do, look like me, right? Did you do commercial? You ne- no. It kind of doesn't. Well, my nose wasn't so big then. This isn't you. And I don't look as like Semitic. <laughs> You look, this, this kid's a little, this kid looks like a little goy that came in a picture frame. He's a dreamer. 
I enjoy this picture. Oh, here. no. Let's just. I try to get that, like. I like I this. Have, sometimes I, I just want to erase it from the internet, just you know? Just your headshot off the internet. How old were you in this photo? This was Spring Awakening time. I think I was 16 when I took it. I, I, yes. And I had red hair, too. Young and smoldering. Ugh. Why'd you have red hair? Um, because I dyed it bleach blonde because I was a young gay kid. And we all did that. Smoldering. Um, this is a picture I found where I was around on the internet. Well, what you don't know Doo -doo -doo -doo. is that Oops. this sweater was see-through. I don't really have a very good fashion sense, and I really didn't have one back then. And I thought I was really winning then. And then I looked at all the pictures, and, I, and that sweater is see-through, and it's super tight. And it just wasn't... It wasn't winning. But look at Stephen Karam's hair. Look at Stephen Karam. Sarah looks exactly the same. Totally. Jason Moore ruling the world now. And Jason Fuchs. And look at this beauty. This is a very... Yeah. It's a beauty. I'm always talking. I can never shut up. You weren't talking. You're going like this. I'm like, I can never shut up. Guess what time it is. What time is it? It's time for Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. Oh. I got your nose. Okay. Ha ha. And you can have it back. But first you have to sing me a song. Any okay. song. If they asked me, I could write a book About the way you walk and whisper and look I could write a preface on how we met At Speech and Debate So the world will never forget That was... Van Dalsrick. That's very nice of you to say. Um, we failed pretty hard we at did. our assignment, but you know, you get to chat with old friends. Um, but we'll, we'll uh, after the cameras go away, we'll keep on working. Yeah, definitely. 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 Um, do yourself a favor and go see Gideon Glick in Significant Other. Please do. You will not be sad that you did. It is so good and you're so good in it. That's very nice of you to say. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you very, very, like, very much. For real. Not showbiz love. <laughs> this is real love. Real love. Real love. Oh. Oh my God. I just feel like good. I should rub your tummy for old time's sake. Should I throw up for and old time's sake? Yeah, just shit it out. Oh. Shit it out. <laughs> think about my memoir title all the time. Another one was from yes to yas. <laughs> That's my like my self-help one like you know like like Oprah has those like you say yes to everything and so mine is from yes to yas. Do you want to say yes to that or do you want to say yas? yas. <laughs>